Howdy, Barry Mechanic back at you again with another video. This time we got the Pollen Pro here. Uh, we need to do an oil change on it with the uh, right stuff this time instead of sludge. You know, engines don't necessarily like sludge. Um, in a previous, uh, prior to this, I've already drained the oil and disposed of it properly. Um, get some things out of my way here. That's kind of irritating me. Sorry about that. I will try and hit it this way. Up to. Anyways. So, without further ado, um, I got the uh, proper safety shoes on, you know, flip flops, you know. Um, no safety glasses, safety squints, you know, safety squints. Uh, smoking of all things, right next to the gas tank, you know, winter. Mind you, this gas tank is empty. The only thing that's in there is air. And that's it. Got me a, uh, not a sponsor, but a big K. Um, because they all taste the same. So, and I'm not a rich man. So, give me two seconds. Let me smoke this cigarette. And drink me a Dutch pepper, or whatever you want to call it. And we'll get started. How about that? And then I'll kind of give you the grand tour of what's going on with this thing. It's a head turn. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you can hear it in the background. My neighbor's uh, mowing his grass. I still can't get that microphone to work. I kind of got to talk loud and it's irritating as hell and I might just have the battery in wrong. No, in my luck, I'll probably have the battery in wrong. But I don't know. It didn't come with instructions. Even if it did, do you think I'm going to read them? Nope. You'd be like, read me first. Nah, no thanks. Alright. Give me two seconds. Let me grab that drip pan over there. Fix the steering wheel. Now, before anyone says in the comments, Bird Mechanic, there's a thousand videos out there showing you how to change oil on a Poland Pro. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. But I like doing all my own stuff. Unless it comes to electrical work. And then I try not to mess with that. You know, like I said. <laughs> A little bit of drippage. Not much, though. Camcorder came with a little remote. You know what I think of this remote? That's what I think about it. It don't work.
Now, that was a Wix filter. This is a Briggs and Stratton off Amazon. I'll show you how it comes packaged. Almost turned into a bloopers. I'll show you how this thing comes packaged, alright? Comes in a nice little brick and stratton box. You know anything about this box? I don't. Nice little filter. Clear plastic cover. Don't install it like this. Seemed it was going to be easier to come off. You know what I think about this plastic cover? I don't. Now, put oil on that O-ring not to help it seal. You don't put it on there to help it seal. Anybody that tells you that is an idiot. You put it on there so as you're twisting it on the engine, it doesn't pull that gasket out of it. Holder. You can use used motor oil. I have two 48 ounce. In this particular engine, it says 48, 64 ounces. We're going to pull it in. We're going to pour it in until it comes out the top. Not really. This is one of the issues. The other issue is actually on the motor itself. It's the ignition switch. Which I don't know. They were cheap and I decided to buy all three of them. That and the starter. I threw that away but I'll show you that here in a second. But for now we're going to use this up pokey stick. Makes a good pokey stick. You know what I think about this thing? I don't. It's almost like they don't want you in here, huh? Like all them Walmart packages you buy at Walmart. Shout out to Walmart, huh? Every time I go in that place, you know what I always get? Bankrupt. Get some oil on your finger. I'll also do something else. Put some in the threads. That way you actually don't, uh, you know, gall the threads. Now, <clears throat> something I always like to do, a lot of people don't. I take a clean microfiber cloth. That's my finger. Where the oil filter goes, it's hard to see in this video. I'm trying to see if you can see it. Yeah, it's right down, right there. There's a little screw thing for the oil filter. Okay? Just go with me on that one. Wipe the mating surface of it just in case that there's dirt. That right there will stop that gasket from sealing. Wipe it off. Don't spray paper parts cleaner on that. Because if you spray it inside, then it's got to go through here. What does brake parts cleaner do? Dissolves oil, right? Kind of defeating the purpose. Don't do it. Or you can do what you want, I don't care. It ain't my motor. But I know what I'm going to do. I've always done something like this. You 
yeah I'm probably wiping this stuff down inside the oil and whatnot and sacrificial you know la la land here so I'm going to take a clean part of the rag and just wipe on the inside up there Yeah, you probably can fill this thing up. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do that. It's not like we're starting it right now, anyhow. We've got to get parts for it. Here we are making a mess. Look at that. There we go. Get all the bubbles out of it. Primer up nice and good. Oh well. Getting the bubbles out of it. I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah, you can a little bit. There you go. Shake it around a little bit. Get them bubbles out of it. By the way, don't pour the excess back in your oil. You don't know what this thing is on their surface and whatnot and what have you. When it stops bubbling, take the rest of it. Dump it down inside your overturn. Okay. They're not done. No. I turned it off. Oh. Give it a minute. Anti-normal. Don't be like the guys at the quick car watch my hoo-ha place. Don't put it on with an impact. That's it. That's all you need. Small engine. Okay. Look at that. Nice and purdy. See if you can see it right there. Yeah, you can. Right on. Now, <clears throat> like I said before, I just pulled that out of the motor. I don't know if that's going to pick it up or not. Okay, see that? Alright. Hardly any oil left in that engine. That little bit. Yeah, you could probably get it out with a suction device or something like that, but I don't have it, nor do I want it. Let's see if the camera's going to pick up that cross hatch. Guess not. Whatever. It says caution, do not overfeed it. So we're going to try our best not to overfill it. And with how my luck's been going today, I'm going to go get a funnel.
Dr. Fonaloff, folks. Give me a big mouth. Big mouth funnel. Clean. No brick parts cleaner needed. Just microfiber. Sacrificial. Don't put that on your paint. You will not like the outcome. Just my love. You don't feel. You know what I think about this one? I don't. We're going right down the neck with it. Come in close. There you go. Now you can see me. Right down the neck with it. Remember what I said? It takes 48 ounces, right? I'm going to stop right there. Remember, we don't want to overfill it. And there's still some left. She's on the dipstick, but she ain't got much. I don't know if she had or not. Probably not. Right about where the ad mark is, about the A on the ad mark. So we have a couple of ounces short. Let's check that. There she is. She's good, guys. A little bit over full, to be honest with you. I ain't gonna lie to you. That ain't no 48 ounces, son. That's short. I'm bringing it around. Let me show you. Well, she's not. See here? She's right past that second dot. This dot here is the full mark. Or this one, I'm sorry. This one here is full mark. She stops. Not right there. Seems like a lot on camera, but I assure you it's not. So. <clears throat> and plus, she's still cold. First things first. Let me get back in the camera. First things first, let me explain to you something. And I gotta make this quick because I ain't got much battery left. Let me explain something. 
this lawnmower, a hundred dollars. Half of that was for gas, because as you can tell, 3000 GT Civic's behind you. I don't have a truck. I don't want one. Too much on gas. I don't know why I keep looking up. I'm just bear with me. I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at you. Anyways, with that being said, I don't really have a use for a truck. Because I drive 12 miles to work. Yeah, I own a house. That's why I have friends. Anyways, without further ado, and just so y'all know, I don't know if y'all seen in my past videos, the reason I wear a hat, kind of self-conscious. Whatever. You like me or you don't. Empty gas tank, covering grass. Something's on it. Bring it in close. Right. We're gonna get real nice and close and personal, right? Real nice and close. No, I'm just Ain't nothing in there. Air. It's really not smoke inside it. Hey, there's no problem. I'm glad I looked. Back to Amazon. It needs a gas cap. Look at that. That rubber gone, so. Half of it's gone anyways. You know what I think about that rubber? I don't. Put it back on. Keep the what not and what have you out there. Put that over there. I do plan on getting this thing running. I'm waiting on parts to come in. And then more parts. It seems like all the time. All the time. Check your hands before you wipe your face. Do a face palm. If not, you're gonna end up like a spot like me. I'll come and dirty my hands, I guess. Close up the tripod here. Now, the rest of it is kind of sacrificial. You may not think it needs to be changed, like that starter solenoid, but. Since you're in there, and that star solenoid was only like 20 bucks. At least you ain't got to worry about it going out on you. Now, I'm taking you over here to the workbench to show you what that starter looked like. Half of it, anyways, the part that I kept. The other part <clears throat> was uh, non existent here. Here's the motor inside of it. The bro well, not the brush, the brushes are over there. Oh, it's dot paper. To the left, dot paper. Right there. Sorry. Anyways. Sorry for the glare. Starter motor. Okay. I'm trying to get it to the point where I can spin it. I ain't got to prove to you. You already know. I ain't got a reason to lie to you. Really? Kinda. No. You don't know me that well. Anyways. This thing was pretty shot. To say the least. Trash man ran Tuesday. Thursday. He picked it up already. But. She's gone. I would throw that away, but it probably hit one of my cars, and that's about how my luck's going today. These are the brushes. 
I sit inside that little slots here like that one. This is a spring. That one there. What nots. Focus. It's not going to focus. Anyways. Other than other than the fact of the starter being bad and me almost loading a cable to it. Starter's gone. Starter sits here. Starter solenoid sits here. And the ignition switch. This is the only part that's left on here that I'm changing. Key still works, it's a little bent. not going to focus obviously because why would it that would make sense um, hang on. bear with me there we go free to do what we want where we want okay now, minus the gunk that's on here. I mean, when I say gunk, Bubba, I mean gunk. That's why we got pressure washers. Gunk. It's, uh, here's the engine cover back over here. sits up there like that. Not like that per se, but you know, it sits down inside there. Fuel tank sits up here. What not. Carburetors on the other side. That holder right there that I don't have covered up, but I should. Um, what else here? Deck. There's a little can. Empty, of course. Automatic uh, air filter obviously needs to be changed, but you know, just like everything else, we're gonna wait till the last minute to do that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we got fresh oil and old girl. Of course, it's not going to focus on it because that, of obviously, would make sense. That's obviously going to be tightened up when I put the surround, this top engine cover, because it bolts through right back there, holds it up against it, and then you know it just just sits there. But. Motor spins free. And for a hundred dollars you can't beat it.